An abstract is a summary that you write to pitch a presentation on a research project. Essentially, an abstract quickly summarizes your research and tells people what you will cover in a presentation. The length of an abstract depends on where you're presenting your research. Some abstracts are 100 words, some abstracts are 700 words. Since abstracts should tell about your research and spark your audience's interest, there are four important questions that they must answer. What is your research about? Why is your research important? How was your research done? And what will you present on? First, include a descriptive title, which gives your readers an initial idea of the topic of your research. Be sure to start with a focused topic sentence. Also include a few more specific sentences about the focus of your research. For example, the title of a recent abstract I wrote with my research partner Truman Silvasi was Neuroscience of Reading, FMRI Shows Heightened Brain Activation and Close Reading of Jane Austen. In the first few sentences of the abstract, we explain our research by saying, Advancing our understanding of the brain systems involved in reading is a priority for emerging interdisciplinary research in neuroscience, psychology, and the humanities. Our project seeks to identify neural signatures involved in various degrees of focused reading, offering a more nuanced view of this intricate mode of top-down cognition. Your research is contributing to a field, a discipline, and the world. A good way to think about this is to imagine a party with different researchers from the same field. When you arrive, people are already grouped up and talking about their research, so you have to decide which group of people you want to talk to. When you leave the party, the conversations will continue. That's what research is. It's an ongoing process where lots of people are in conversation. Your abstract should tell people how your research fits into this conversation and what makes it compelling. You can see here in the abstract I just showed you that we mentioned right away the importance of understanding the brain and reading is across different fields. Tell the readers about the methods you use to gather and analyze data. For example, for this project, we used MRI scans and eye tracking technology to study what was happening in the brain as our research subjects were reading. We were a bit more technical in describing our methods in the abstract, where we said, in an MR scanner, 18 subjects with backgrounds in literary studies read passages from Mansfield Park in a block design paradigm, which alternated relaxed pleasure reading blocks with passages designated for close reading. In the latter, subjects were told to read critically, paying attention to structure and literary technique, concluding with the composition of a short essay. Tell the audience what they will hear if they come to see you present. At most meetings or conferences, attendees can get a program containing abstracts from all presenters. Attendees will look through the program to decide which presentations to see based on these abstracts. Whether there are 20 or 2,000 other presenters, your abstract is important because it can help people decide if and how your research aligns with their own interests. There are many ways to provide a quick sense of what your presentation will cover. Here's what ours looks like. In this presentation, we will review previous studies on the neuroscience of reading and detail the methods and results of our experiment, which demonstrated correlations between the text's readability and mean reading time, and also showed significant differences in brain activity between close reading and pleasure reading. Avoid using too much technical jargon. Your abstract should make sense to readers outside your field. The effectuated information for the many inquisitions of this study was amalgamated via a myriad of unplanned census-style queries of millennial collegiate individuals advanced in life between 18 and 25 years. Avoid making your abstract too casual. Abstracts are formal academic documents and should be free of spelling or typing errors, idioms, and other informal language. My abstract is super cool. And if you don't think so, you're probs in the wrong place. Don't do it alone, and don't be afraid to ask for feedback. Mentors and colleagues can help with both developing content for your abstract and proofreading. To avoid revealing confidential information, make sure your research mentors approve the information you'd like to share. You can find more research-related advice, tools, and resources at the MSU Undergraduate Research website, urca.msu.edu.